Wow, well, hi YouTube. Uh, here you are at work with Roach. I took a four month contract with uh, the blood and uh, transplant service here in the UK. Um, they do what they say on the tin sort of thing really. Uh, I've been transporting uh, blood products, so um, blood, plasma, platelets, that sort of thing for uh, um, pathology departments in, um, I've, I've looked after about six hospitals, kind of three in the morning and three in the afternoon. And um, obviously those products uh, have got a patient's name on them, you know, they're not, they're not ordering those um, products up for storage, you know, so people that are having routine operations uh, or are uh, very unwell. The service also transport organs, so we transport um, um, you know, hearts, livers, kidneys, lungs, uh, corneas, skin, all that sort of stuff. Um, they operate a 24-hour uh, day, seven days a week uh, service for for the uh, hospitals nationally. And uh, I took a short-term contract. Uh, I've been doing this for four months, which is the reason I haven't made you any films or as many films as I normally do anyway and um, thoroughly enjoyed the routine of being back to work. For me, that's exactly what it was about. You know, my wife is a breadwinner, I'm the bread baker. I've brought the uh, girls up since they were born. My youngest has just gone back to school. I just started school at three, and I was desperate to um, get back to the routine of work. But people underestimate the importance of good routine, you know. Um, there really is something in getting up in the morning, getting yourself clean, dressed, washed, shaved, out of the house, you know, and to work. I think what it does is it gives you purpose and the alternative, without good routine and without purpose, I, I think human beings get ill, you know, so, and that's based on 20 years, over 20 years as a healthcare professional. So. Without good routine, you're rattling around the house, you're eating more than you would normally, so you're making cups of tea and biscuits and sandwiches, you're watching daytime television, um, you start to put on a bit of weight, next thing you know, that little bit of weight has turned into you being several stone overweight, so now you're clinically obese. Maybe uh, if that journey continued over years, you would become uh, maybe diabetic, and so it's having uh, adverse uh, effects on your personal health. The other road that people tend to go down without purpose and routine is uh, if you're stuck indoors all the time, then um, you can become quite depressed. You know, people then go on to be clinically depressed. They're on all sorts of medications and uh, clinical depression goes hand in hand with suicidal tendencies. So, um, so good routine is, I think, paramount to, to being a healthy human being. You know, we, we need purpose in our lives and that helps us stay healthy. Um, like I say, this is, this is my interpretation based on 20, a little over 20 years as a healthcare professional. Um, so that's what this job has given me. And I really took a short contract just to see whether uh, whether this was for me, you know, whether this is what I wanted to do on a kind of return to work type basis. And um, I've met some great people, I've um, enjoyed rubbing along for the last uh, four months, but I am looking forward to uh, a week off, you know. I've got my road trip coming up that I'm really looking forward to, I'm starting to get some kit and equipment together for that, uh, so I'm quite excited about that. Um, I'm going to try and get out to the States. Uh, before Christmas to help um, plan the um, US um, prepper camp out but uh, like everything in the world you know it's bigger and better in the uh, United States of America and the prepper camp out in the US is going to be um, about a thousand people it's going to be a, a very big event and as you can imagine it's going to take a little bit of organizing so I'm heading out to the US hopefully before Christmas for a week 
and the event is actually going to be in May of uh, 2015 and like I say we'd be looking for an event that at least a thousand people will attend you know so um, that's the big project on the horizon but uh, uh, today I can't stop uh, getting excited about uh, Roach's road trip. Uh, you're joining me on my last day at work. This is the end of my um, contract and uh, this is my last day at work so I am you know just rubbing along going around saying goodbye to everybody. I have thoroughly enjoyed my time with the blood and transplant service and uh, maybe in the new year I uh, might have the opportunity to come back and take another short uh, contract. But that's, uh, that's all my news, that's where I've been, that's why I haven't been making films for you. And uh, that's an insight into what I've got coming up. So uh, as always, any comments? I'd love to hear them. Thanks. You are giving me